What up, where is your boy? Your boy, the Black checking in again, man. Shout out to everybody who been rocking with the campaign, man. Today we talking about Drake and Kendrick Lamar, right? We all know them boy had an epic rap battle. You know, they went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then basically it's safe to say that Kendrick Lamar came out with the dub, bro. He came out with the W, he came out victorious. Um, so now I want to ask you guys, what do you think both of these artists go from here? What does Kendrick go from here? What does Drake go from here? You know, so let's look at it from the perspective of Kendrick Lamar, right? The victor, right? So I feel like with Kendrick Lamar right now, he ain't dropped the album since what, 2022? It's been about two years he dropped the uh, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. And it's a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, that, that album really, you know, it was kind of had mixed reviews. Some people appreciated it, some people liked it, but some people was critical of it, like, oh, they ain't really feeling it compared to some of his previous work, like, you know, Down and Good Kid, Max City, Section 80, and so forth and so forth. You know, he got some the Pimple Butterfly. So he got some classical joints out there. So a lot of people weren't really feeling this one, so I feel like this... This is an opportunity for him right now since, you know, he got all the eyes and ears on him to basically use this time to drop an album. You know, he should drop an album in 2024, preferably in the summertime. And then after he dropped that album, you know, put out a couple more singles. And the album should do real well just because of the anticipation of it. And I'm pretty sure he got his diehard fans. It's going to show up for him every time. But he also done gained a lot of new fans that ain't interested in, you know, hear, hear how he coming. You know what I'm saying? Um, the last album, Mr. Morale and the Big Stubbers, I felt like that was more of like almost conscious or something. Like it didn't win him no new fans. You know what I'm saying? But I think so. This one, I think he should do a more well rounded album. And I like that song, Not Like Us. It got a real Cali vibe. I think he should have a couple more of them kind of cuts on there. You know what I'm saying? A little more Cali appeal. You know what I'm saying? Although he's a he's a mainstream universal artist. You know what I'm saying? Although most of his raps is rooted in consciousness. You know what I'm saying? I respect that about him. Um, but I think he should keep um, Not Like Us, Euphoria, as well as Meet the Grounds. I think he should put all of them on that album maybe at the back of the album, you know what I'm saying? But keep them on there just for um, singles as well as to help the overall sales, you know what I'm saying? Because I think all of these songs I mentioned, they're already done pretty much reached at least gold status, I think. Not Like Us is probably already platinum. I know Euphoria already gold. I'm pretty sure Meet the Grounds is going to be gold soon. So when you put those albums, well, those songs on the album, it helps the album charts and it just helps the overall album sales of the album compared to not putting them on there. You know what I'm saying? I think you should put them on there and them being on the album, whenever the album drop, if the album is classical, which it should be, these uh, these songs being on that album will time stamp a place and time in hip hop that all hip hop heads are going to remember 2024 when Kendra Lamar and Drake had the epic rap battle. You know what I'm saying? So drop that. And then come with a couple, you know, a couple more new singles. You know what I'm saying? They folk and vibe too. They can rock with, play on the radio, play in the club. And then after that, you go do good numbers. And then you go on tour. That'll be a very successful 2024. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he's gonna win, you know, a boatload of awards, Billboard Awards, Soul Train, BT, Grammys, and so forth and so forth. But if he does not drop an album right now after, you know, the height of his career right now, I feel like it would be a mishap, you know what I'm saying? I think that would be very unwise for him to not drop in 2024. Um, so I think he should definitely do it. As far as Drake is concerned, I don't think Drake, Drake needs to drop an album. I think he definitely needs to get to the summer vibes. Drop a couple singles for the summer, get back into his pop bag, back to his singing and you know his melodies and the vibes and all of that. Leave that tough talk, gangster shit alone, cause it ain't you, brother. That ain't you, Crody. You know what I'm saying? Get back to the vibes and trying to do some hits, and then maybe drop an EP. 
You know what I'm saying? Something for the fan, like Scary Hours Part 3, for whatever it is. Just drop a Scary Hours EP and build the anticipation for 25. So next year, Drake should come out with a, you know, a big boy rollout and then, you know, drop an album or body of work or something. Because right now, I just don't think it's a good time for Drake to drop no album. He got other things that he need to be worrying about such as some of his endorsements and sponsorships that he could be losing in the wake of some of these uh, allegations, you know what I'm saying, that's, you know, trying to come forth. Um, but that's just my opinion about what Drake, as well as Kendrick Lamar, should do after this rap battle done subsided, you know what I'm saying? I don't think neither one of them need to drop no, um, no more discs. I don't think they need to sneak this or sub each other just... Let that shit be what it is and just move forward, move on. You know what I'm saying? If you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, like and share the video. Jump in the comment section. Let me know if y'all agree with me. Do you think, let me know what you think Drake should do and or what should Kendrick do right now after this battle, you know, after this smoke, nothing clear, man. What you think them boys should do, man? I'm Sporty Black. I'm signing off. I'm grinding on.